In this video, Rugged Ridge receiving skid plate slash step. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan Carlos. If you haven't been here, if you've been here, welcome back. We just got back from Jeep Beach in Daytona 2023 and one of the items I purchased, purchased is this Rocket Ridge receiver skid hitch plate slash step. I just want to share this with you all because I was not aware something like this existed. As you can see, I have nothing on my hitch when I'm not towing the camper trailer. And I was one, always wanted to get a cover. I had the Jeep cover, but I'm not sure what I did with it. So I was looking for something to put on there. They have a lot of designs, but what I got here is actually functional. So let's go ahead and do a quick open box. This is, uh, it, it reads, Hitch skid plate, two inch receiver, one eight zero one three period zero one from Rugged Ridge. Let's go check it out. I got a deal on it on the show for sixty dollars. Apparently it was hundred and twenty. I looked it up, I couldn't find this, but I found other ones similar, not Rugged Ridge, but other brands, and they all started about a hundred and thirty and up. Very simple, packed in a uh, hiking paper. Flip around. See, it's, it's very well packed. It even has foam paper. So this is it, Rocket Ridge. It's a step and it's a skip plate, even on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do the installation. Here it is again, I, I think it's very nice looking. I think it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna go from this to this. Get my copper pin here, my locking copper pin. Pass it through. Definitely adds about two inches of a step here. It definitely is more of a skid plate than a step. I thought it stuck out a little bit, but nevertheless, you can't go wrong for $60 looks nice I think it adds to the gladiator you get an additional three inches of a step and initially I'm thinking it's not enough but honestly you don't want it to stick out too much I think this is just right it looks great and it's enough to get the job done like it. Another thing I got at the Jeep Beach show is this gauge face. I went with the Daytona orange color. I got them at US Speedo. They were at the show. The benefit is that it was a free installation. It took them about 40 minutes to install, although I had to wait two hours because I had people ahead of me. And it was $149.99. The theme inside the Gladiator Ultracon is gonna be orange on the inside, white and black on the outside. I like the way the bigger numbers are to compare. You can see the old, that's the upgraded one. I also like how the numbers follow circularly around the face versus all the numbers on the old one are all horizontal 
I think this gives you more of an authentic look, more of the 70s look. I think it's sporty. Same thing goes with the uh, RPMs. The numbers follow circularly. I think it's a great addition for the Gladiator Ultracon. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button for future videos. Till next time, everybody. <laughs>